Hello friends, or acquaintances, or people, or whatever descriptor you think describes our relationship. Welcome to my channel! So like I said, welcome to my channel. My name's Deepa. Thank you for clicking on my tiny little video. Hopefully, in return, I can provide you with 10 minutes and 2 seconds of some quality of entertainment. On this channel, I do whatever my little heart wishes, and if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. If you're coming to this video from another video of mine, and you like what you've seen so far, please consider subscribing. I post once a week, and so far, it's been a more than decent experience for me, so hopefully it can be a more than decent experience on your end. All right, so like the title of this video says, I am a college student, a rising junior in college, and I am here now to review summer clothing trends. Now, slight disclaimer, I am no fashion expert, nor am I hot la mode, nor do I know anything about fashion theory, but I do know how to form an opinion. So that's what I'm going to be spewing today. The first garment piece that I will be discussing are these silk slash satin dresses, slip dresses. They are quite flattering and I'm sure that they're great to wear to special events, at least when I've seen them worn to special events, they definitely work. However, I have yet to observe its practicality in a classroom setting and the most rational way for me to shop is to figure, can I wear this in more than one scenario? And for this type of piece, I have decided that the answer is no. Has that stopped me from investing in one of these pieces? No, it did not. The upside to this is that you can wear them with a sweater over it, and it'll look weather appropriate, and you can walk into class looking bourgeois, and that'll be a vibe. Yeah, so honestly what I'm, I'm talking myself into in this video is that I approve of silk slash satin dresses, but I'm struggling to find ways where you can wear them in real life. Well, that's false. I'm sure if I looked it up on Pinterest, there would be some beautiful woman adorned in this beautiful silk dress, wearing it in a very casual way. So I don't know, I really think I should script these videos, but I'm not going to because I like my verbal mobility. The next trend that I'm going to be reviewing with the context of my college student experience is Kalanick tank tops. Yeah, these seem to be a fabulous option for those individuals interested in nighttime excursion. The only way that I see these being wearable in the daytime when it's not summer, I know I'm reviewing summer outfits, but I feel like if I'm going to buy something, it should come of use to me throughout the whole year which is definitely the reason why I don't have a lot of summer clothes. Um, even in the summer, I wear long sleeves. That's, that's me, if you wanted to know. I feel like in the winter, this type of shirt would be really cute underneath a blazer or a cardigan of some sort. You can continue to be that bourgeois madam in the lecture hall that also wore a slip dress to class. The next item I wanted to talk about is the mini skirts with slits in them. Sometimes they have two slits in them. And honestly, this is really cute. I put it on my I need to buy list. Granted, you don't need to buy anything. I feel like when you wear super short things, it's okay if you wear a long sleeve top in 90 degree weather like I usually do. Um, because, I don't know, it's like a little give and take of what you're revealing. I am much more comfortable showing my legs than my arms or my upper half. I don't have a substantial reason behind that. It's just it's just always been my preference. So yeah, I really like this trend. What I don't like, however, is when the slits come up to your hips. In what way is that a pragmatic garment to wear unless you're taking a cute little Instagram photo? I just I just don't understand those slits. I mean, that being said, there definitely are people out there who are more careful about how they walk and how they sit and how they exist. However, the bigger slits do provide quite a sensual vibe, so if that is your thing, I admire you. The next item I wanted to talk about is one shoulder tops. I think it blends 
not having any sleeves and having sleeves perfectly as the name one shoulder top perfectly describes. I really like these tops. They're super cute. That's all I've got to say about that. Um, I, sh I think they would be a perfect basic for the summer or for your nighttime festivities, for your evening festivities, or for your daytime festivities. I think this is an all 24 hour festivity type of shirt. I just hope that it doesn't become so popular that it goes out of style because that would be unfortunate. I think they're super flattering. I think they make the torso look very good. Yeah, that's all I've got to say about that one. The next item that I thought was quite prominent in the spring and summer were the baguette bags. And honestly, the vibes are super cool with this one. They're super dainty and it looks like they go with everything. Super 90s, we love when we bring trends back. Prime opportunity for thrifting probably. So yeah, baguette bags seem like, or you know, the long little bags seem very practical. You know, everything is kept close to the body. You don't have to extend your joints because no one likes to do that. I'm kidding, I don't, there's no difference. Well, there probably is a difference. Quite honestly, it's probably more difficult, but um, at least it's a functional bag and it's better than those small little bags that people wear, you know, like the tiny ones that are literally this size. It's better than that. So yeah, baguette bags, very cool garments. The last thing that I have opinions on are the cardigan tank top sets. Now this is a three-pronged topic. The first prong is the cropped cardigan. They're super functional with the context of being a college student because I forgot I'm supposed to be reviewing these with the mindset of that because it is so cold in lecture rooms in the fall or in the spring when you want to dress warm weather eve, you know, to prevent yourself from perspiring excessively. Um, and then you enter into your lecture building and it's like, oh, it's warm in here, quite pleasant. And then you take a seat in your lecture hall and it is quite literally the Arctic. In those situations, I can see how a cropped cardigan would be very functional. They end right where your waist is. I think that's usually a technique to dress yourself in a flattering way. The second prong of this is the cropped, the cropped cardigans that come with the knit tank top underneath. And those are very cute, might I say, even though the 90s already did it. Yeah, I think, I think it, they're so adorable because you can just wear it and look like you put in so much effort. When really, you probably just put in more money. So, you know, there's pros and cons to everything, but the pro is that you'll look cute. And then the third prong, the third and last prong and item that I'm going to speak my opinions about in this video are the floral embroidered, the floral embroidered cardigans and cardigan knit uh, sweater sets. Because the floral embroidery is so festive for the warm weather and, you know, flowers are always nice and it's very cute and adorable and Unfortunately, however, I tried looking this up before I filmed this video and there are no, almost no retailers that sell these except for the ones that I believe are scam websites. So that's really unfortunate. If you're a retailer and you happen to stumble upon my minuscule video, please make more of these. Like they are just so cute. If every other retailer that's doing them is selling out, wouldn't that be the perfect indication that Producing a garment of this style would be a huge money maker. I would think so too. That is my pitch to you. I'm not even asking for any compensation. I just give ideas. That is what I do. So yeah, that was my video. I hoped you liked it. I also hoped you I also hope you like my hand motions. I realized very recently that when I don't move my hands, my brain literally shuts down and it's even more prominent when I speak in front of a camera. So this is probably never going to stop throughout my time on this platform. So if you liked this and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and like. If you didn't like this, but you wish to see me grow, like and subscribe. If you didn't like this and you don't want to see me grow, I thank you for watching. That is enough of a gift to me. 
So yeah, that's all I have. I will see you next week.